What's going on everybody? Crazy Duck here back with another video and today we are going to be harvesting our wheat this big field right in front of us and without further ado let's just start right now so we got our X9 right here we can lower it down get it going and we can start doing the headlands here I already missed a little bit there that's okay just have to pack up and get it again but this is a this is a really nice combine this combine we're very lucky to have it because it is in like severe testing still so if things go wrong on it it is um, it is not um, an error <laughs> of me it'll be this is just being tested and we were asked if we wanted to test it so that's why it's here and it's still the 2010s and they said it's about to release in about like 2021 2022 area and that's still like three years into the future which is crazy you can see on the little yield map that the yield is pretty good it's in the green in this area I know that this field like it's good in some places like right over here and then it's really bad in other places so It'll be kind of just wherever it works, I guess. So we'll see how it how it goes, I guess. We are at 98%, 99. Just gonna slow down so when we reach 100, there we go. Let's back it up. We can basically just pull up beside the road, just so that there's enough room for our grain cart tractor. park that there and now we got to go and run and get the grain cart let's pull up right beside the combine here there we go we're filling up if we go in the cab you can see there's a little meter right underneath the Demco logo and it shows how many liters are in there of course we go by bushels but it is kind of neat to see the amount of liters okay he's empty let's just back up the grain cart here so we're out of the way now let's hop back into the combine and we can keep going so we have gotten one pass all the way around here now we should be pretty much good to go so what I'm thinking is we're gonna cut two kind of paths in the middle and then one combine does the one half and another does the other kind of like last field I assume right about here is center and I'm gonna get the GPS set up here we can start it up and we can just basically do a straight line right here. I am going to stop the combine because we are quite full and we're going to um, need to unload it. So I got to grab the grain cart and I may as well just bring the other combine over here as well. Okay, so we got the grain cart and the other combine there. We definitely were not... Uh, um, making a thumbnail definitely not <laughs> but yeah things are rolling pretty good I like this combine I like I like the GPS <laughs> one thing that I really like about like John Deere stuff now is how the um, logo kind of goes from like kind of fat to skinny like before it was basically all one size and it just kind of got a little skinnier as it went along but I like the new kind of look to it it looks very sleek I guess okay so let's turn this combine around here and we might and we should be able to let our neighbor take over the combine here so let's just get it straight and now we got our neighbor running the combine Let's hop in our S680 here. We can drive this one down to the end like the X9 and then we can 
continue driving the green car after. Okay, we got our neighbor running this combine now, so now look, we're gonna get out and go to the grain car. So we should be able to unload the X9 here. They will both be have their augers out on the same side on the same time, so that might not be a good thing because it'll be hard to keep up, but After this, I'll have to um, grab the semi and the grain truck so that we can um, so that we can unload the grain cart here because it's pretty full already. Yeah, we're gonna fill up right about there. Oh no! And he's he's got his auger on the um, field side. That's not a good thing. We can't unload him when he's on that side, so. Okay, let's park the semi right there. We're gonna have to pull around here. I'll let that unload and I'll go do that just so that we can save some time. Because. I don't want to rush too much, but I want to get the X9 before he stops, so. Now let's unload the S680 here. Let's pull up. Right there. Okay, we got the neighbor running again. Now let's try and get the X9 here. We should be able to. Yep, we should be good. He should be empty right about now. There we go. So now now they won't um, have the augers out on the exact same time, so that is okay because now I won't have to rush as much, but we'll just kind of move down the field here I guess, and then we'll catch this combine here once it's time. And there we go, he's right beside me, we're unloading on the go. This is one of my favorite parts of driving a grain cart. I might unload just a tiny bit, basically till the Super B is full I guess. Just so that we can for sure fit the X9's load. Can we do this in first person? I've never really done this in first person, so we'll see how this will go. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Okay, he's empty. Let's pull away here. And there we go. That was quite fun actually doing this in first person. But it's quite uh, difficult because getting straightened out is a little tricky. Okay, I'm in the grain truck now. I just gotta bring this over here because, because we um, filled up the Super B. For some reason, somebody stopped. I think it's the X9. I don't know where he is. Oh, he's way over there. Just 
just got parked that there. I'm gonna park the grain cart right here and then I'm gonna bring the semi into the yard why is he backing up so far he better back up all the way there okay good I don't know what he's doing he's doing something weird though and we missed the approach. No. We're gonna lose a little grain here. It should be fine. Okay, so we got the auger lined up. I did not get that done before, which I regret a lot now. <laughs> because both combines are full, so. Let's pull this over here. Start unloading the wheat. There we go, everything's unloading, which is good. Well, let's bring this around over here. We can park it in the middle of the field. Now, before we get all the combines going again, we have to unload the grain cart because well, there's not enough room for a full load once it's empty here it should be um, going once again I think he will there we go now let's go get the other combine and then hopefully he'll finish up that last little pass and then then yeah we can pretty much finish up the field this um, <laughs> it's a little unbalanced. It's kind of wobbling back and forth quite a bit. So we should definitely um, unload this before it spills. Oh, and it looks like the other guy, that guy quit. So that's okay because we'll just take the combine and clean up kind of stuff that he missed. And yeah. There we go, the whole field is done. So now let's just bring the combines back to the side of the field. Let's fill up the um, semis and then we should be done. I guess we won't fill up the semi because it's already full so. We can probably just park them um, into the yard and then we'll be good to go. As I, I park all the equipment in the yard, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next episode. I do not think we'll have any more harvest episodes, so this will most likely be the last one. See you guys.